Okay, Citizens Eye here today at uh, Saffron Summer Fate, and I've got with me Leicester South MP, John Ashworth. Hi, John. Hello there, you alright? <laughs> yeah, you enjoying the day? I am, it's beautiful weather here on the uh, Saffron Fate, it's great atmosphere, people are having a great time. I'm here along with Peter Salisbury yeah. and everybody here in the community, and we're just having a really good time. It's a great day out for the family. Yeah, I've just been having a word with your press officer to say you're keeping us very busy at Citizens Eye with all the stuff you're doing across the city. Yeah. Uh, recently, you've just been to Summer Sunday, I hear. I have, yes, and I don't know if uh, Citizens Eye followers uh, saw it, but I uh, made a big issue of the fact that we need to get more live music in Leicester, because yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of music, yeah. and Summer Sunday is a great event here in Leicester. It brings in uh, people from all over the Midlands, but it also contributes something like a million pounds to our economy, and it's a great showcase event for Leicester. I had a great time there. And it's, again, it's another good day out for the family. I was there with my wife em Emily and my three-month-old baby girl, yeah. introducing her to her first ever festival, and she, uh, she had a great time in the, in the family area. But you know, the, the important thing is, just because it's parliamentary recess, doesn't mean that MPs stop working, it doesn't mean they stop representing local people. That's why I'm out and about, that's why I was out down at the credit union the other day, I've signed up to the credit union. You know, when economic times are tough, as they are at the moment, and people need to get uh, lending, people need to get access to money, credit unions lend at very reasonable rates. And I would encourage people to join the credit union, rather than take out some of these uh, more extortionate lending companies, such as Wonga.com, because they, people can get in themselves into a real mess with those sorts of uh, loans from those sorts of companies. So that's why I wanted to highlight the work of the credit union as well this week. Yeah, and you've recently been with the city mayor to the uh, celebrations for the India Independence Day, is that right? Absolutely, that was in uh, uh, Belgrave. Actually, that was in Leicester East. Yeah. Uh, my good friend Keith has uh, let me go over the border for the, uh, for the evening. But the serious point is, it's important that in Leicester, we are a richly diverse city with communities from all over the world who have contributed so much. So that was an event about celebrating the contribution of the Indian community to Leicester, which is a, a, a long-standing relationship we have, and it's something that I want to work very closely with the Indian community here in Leicester, and I know we can go from strength to strength in building that relationship. Right, John, in the near future, Citizens Eye Radio will be launching in the old Central Library in town, <laughs> right, well. yeah. and I'll be hosting a programme called Frog Island Discs. Frog Island so Discs. Knowing right. that you're such a music fan, could I formally invite you to come on to that sometime? Uh, so long as your listeners are ha happy to listen to the Stone Roses, Oasis, maybe a bit of Joy Division, as long as that's their taste, I'd be very happy to come on and play some music for you. Well, that's certainly some of my taste, so I'll be glad to hear it, even if nobody else is listening. <laughs> John, thanks for the catch-up today. Thanks a lot. And have a good summer. Thanks.